in this video i will talk about the saturated and the non saturated logic of our bipolar junction transistor so what is this saturated logic the circuits in which transistors are driven into saturation are called saturated logic circuits we know that a bipolar junction transistor has three regions of operation first one is cut off mode cut off mode that means the transistor will be in totally off state second one is active region active region that means all the carriers in the emitter terminal will not contribute in current conduction and the last one is saturation region or the transistor will be in total on state so when i am talking about saturated logic circuit our transistor will switch between saturated to cut off or cut off to saturated logic and when the transistor will be non saturated logic our transistor will be switch back and forth between active region to cut off mode or cut off mode to active region okay so when a transistor is in saturation now look at this npn transistor you will see that we have a pn junction between the base to collector terminal and a pn junction between base to emitter terminal a bipolar junction transistor is said to be in on state when the base to emitter pn junction and the base to collector junction both are in forward bias so when both of these base to emitter and base to collector junction will be in forward bias all the electrons in the emitter terminal will contribute in current conduction therefore the base terminal will be flooded with minority p type carrier therefore i will get a high value of base current so when a high value of base current flows our collector and emitter terminal will get nearly shorted and we will get a voltage vce saturation voltage nearly equal to 0.2 volt and this circuit configuration is said to be in on state let's say i am supplying this collector terminal with vcc volt with the bias resistor rc and if i apply a sufficient amount of voltage between the base to emitter terminal between this end of the rb to this emitter terminal greater than 0.7 volt let's say i am applying 5 volt that means all the electrons in the emitter terminal will contribute in current conduction therefore i will get a high amount of base current in the base terminal therefore i will get a saturation current ic set at the collector terminal of this transistor so when a transistor is in saturation region i will get a high amount of base current but the collector and emitter terminal will get shorted therefore the voltage difference between this terminal and this terminal will be reduced to nearly zero that means the logic circuits that are using this saturated logic will use minimum amount of power and as the transistor is in saturation therefore the transistor current gain beta will be independent of our circuit configuration or other external parameters okay so this transistor is in saturation mode because we are applying plus vcc at the collector terminal and let's say 5 volt between this base to emitter terminal when this transistor is in saturation region all the electrons in the n type emitter contribute in current conduction and our base terminal will be full with this p type minority carriers and when a transistor is in saturation region collector and emitter terminal will get shorted therefore the voltage difference between these two terminal will be nearly equal to 0 volt and the ic set this ic set will flow through this path and our ie or emitter current will be equal to ic set and i will get a very high amount of base current when the transistor will be in saturation let's say i have a circuit here this is a npn transistor see i am applying a 5 volt voltage at the collector terminal through a 5 kilo ohm collector resistor 
I am applying a 0 volt or 5 volt at the base terminal through this base resistor of 1 kilo ohm. See this emitter terminal is connected to ground terminal. As I am applying 5 volt at the collector terminal and let's say 5 volt at the base terminal. You will see all the electrons at the emitter terminal are contributing in current conduction and you will see the collector current is equal to 995 microampere and the emitter current is also 995 microampere which I have shown you here this IC set will flow through this short path and our IE will be equal to IC set that means I can say this collector and emitter terminals get shorted and see when this transistor is in saturation I will get a high amount of base current which is equal to 4.21 milli ampere and this base terminal contains a large number of charge carriers therefore we get this high amount of current now I want to switch off the transistor Q therefore I will apply 0 volt between the base to emitter terminal that means this emitter terminal will be connected to ground terminal look at this circuit this circuit is in saturation mode therefore this emitter terminal therefore the emitter terminal is supplying all the electrons at the emitter terminal as this transistor is in saturation mode the emitter terminal is supplying all the electrons at the emitter terminal and see there is a large number of minority carriers at the base terminal flowing which results 4.2 milliampere of current now if I want to turn off the transistor I will connect this terminal with I will connect this terminal with ground terminal so our transistor will be in off state I therefore I will get zero base current and zero collector current and the collector to ground voltage will be equal to 5 volt or collector to emitter voltage will be equal to 5 volt because when a transistor is in off state its collector and emitter terminal gets disconnected from the circuit or its collector and emitter terminal acts like an open switch when this transistor switches from on state to off state it is not possible for the electrons at the base terminal to leave the base terminal instantaneously therefore it will take some time for the carriers at the base terminal to leave this base terminal and this is the reason for which there is a time delay in the transistor to switch it from on state to off state and this time delay is known as saturation delay time again I will talk about saturation delay time when this transistor will be in saturation this base terminal will be full with with minority P type carrier therefore I will get a high amount of base current 4.21 milliampere now I will turn off the transistor therefore I will connect this terminal with this ground terminal but the carriers at the base terminal cannot leave the base terminal instantaneously if I connect this terminal with this ground terminal and this is the reason for which there is a time delay in the transistor to switch it from on state to off state and this is known as transition delay or saturation delay time and because of this saturation delay non-saturated logic circuits like ECL short key TTL logic circuits are 2.5 times faster than saturated logic circuits like DTL, TTL, RTL logic circuits due to this saturation or transition delay time RTL resistor transistor logic DTL diode transistor logic and TTL transistor transistor logic the, these logic circuits use saturation logic for its logical operation now let me talk about non saturated logic the circuits that avoid saturation during logical operation are known as non saturated logic for non saturated logic a transistor is biased in active region so our transistor will never saturate and it will operate either in active region or in cutoff region as when the transistor will be in active region 
our base terminal will not be full with minority p type carriers therefore there will be no saturation delay time therefore non saturated logic circuits will be faster than the saturated logic circuits and ecl short key ttl logic circuits use non saturated logic to perform their logical operation non saturation that means see when this transistor is in saturation we will get a saturation current of 995 micro ampere at the collector terminal our ic set will be 995 micro ampere how do we understand that this is our saturation current let's say i change the voltage let's say i am applying 5 volt at the base terminal there will be no appreciable change in the collector current if i increase it further you will see there will be no appreciable change in the collector current and it remains same that means our transistor is in saturation now let me talk about active region see if i apply only 1 volt the collector current is only 990 micro ampere if i reduce it further let's say i am applying 900 millivolt or 0.90 volt you will see our collector current will be 989 micro ampere it is not in fully on state but it is in conducting mode and you will see there is a slight amount of base current which is equal to 173 micro ampere and when i switch it from active region to cut off mode or off state there will be no saturation delay because when the transistor will be in active region there are a small amount of charge carriers at the base terminal so they can leave the base terminal easily if i connect this this terminal with ground terminal this is the main difference between saturated and non saturated logic if i don't apply a sufficient amount of voltage between the base to emitter terminal i will get the transistor in active region but if i apply a greater voltage let's say 4 volt or 3 volt i will get a current of this transistor will be in saturation mode and i will get saturation current at the collector terminal 994 micro ampere okay that's it thank you